Our Athlete of the Week is doing big things in wrestling at Mountain View High School in Vancouver, and her name is Abby Huft. She has a 7-2 record this season, and she's proving that she can hang with the varsity boys. David Solano shows you. For Mountain View High School's Abby Huft, wrestling is a way of life. I wrestle girls varsity 100 and guys varsity 106, so I'm the lowest weights for both of them. We have duels, and the duels, I wrestle guys. So, yeah, and then whenever we have tournaments every Saturday, I wrestle girls. She had it in her head in the beginning of the season that she wasn't going to be able to make varsity just because the guys were a little bit bigger than her. Um, but her technique is really good. She's been wrestling for a long time. The way that she wrestles on the mat, um, you, you can just tell she's been around it her whole life. I love wrestling. I taught middle school. I absolutely love it. And I'm so glad I'm you know, one of the role models. I'm so glad I'm a team captain. Our Athlete of the Week says she's inspired by her brother Brandon, who was ranked number two in the state of Washington his senior year at Mountain View. He's been my best friend and he's always been there for me. Well, people expect me to be like him. You know, they're like, oh man, you gotta be like your brother. But, you know, I just wanna be Abby. I just wanna be myself. I would love to get to that spot where he, he was at, but I think I should write my own story. And she recently challenged one of the freshman boys to a match, and here's what happened. You know, in the first round, I took him down and instantly broke him down. And then with 20 seconds left, I started uh, I started putting in a half and started to put him on his back. And um, he would clamp down, so I'd have to run to the other side. And I kept going back and forth and back and forth, and I made him really tired. So I mentally broke him, and I got him on his back, and that was a pin. I want to go to college and wrestling college, and I wouldn't be able to be where I am today without my amazing coaches. Reporting in Vancouver, David Solano, Coin Six Sports.